Sansom, tough shot. But the back tap, big three for Santa Ana, and Elon has his first lead. Pointer got a shot blocked by Hayes, and Holt ends up with the ball. Look at him turn on the Jets. And he's headed to the line to give Delaware the lead. Six to shoot. Hahn finds a wide open Tucker. Big three. It's back to five. The length of the Dukes cannot be understated. If Watney can use it offensively, over Boo. Right now, Elon has moved back ahead on the glass. Hairston with the flush. Elon trying to scrap and claw their way back in this one. They've trailed by as many as 17. And Sloan brings them back to within seven. Been quiet since intermission. Nice high-low from a bit, and Williams lost the foul. From the Bob Carpenter Center in Newark, it's the dawn of a new era of Delaware basketball. Tonight, first-year head coach Natasha Adair makes her home debut as the Blue Hens host the American University Eagles. And hi, everybody. I'm Matt Janis alongside Christine Coramata. This is Delaware Basketball on Hens All Access. Christine, a lot of juice inside the building tonight. Natasha Adair taking the sidelines at home for the first stop. Natasha Adair, no stranger to the Bob Carpenter Center, has been a head coach on these sidelines in her stints with College of Charleston and Georgetown. But tonight, she'll be standing in front of the home bench, and these fans will be cheering for her squad. If she's got any first game jitters, she'll be awful happy to have Nicole Anabosi on her side. What a start to this season it has been for Nicole. Nicole Anabosi, a double-double machine. She is the heart and soul for this Blue Hen squad, and where she's most improved, instead of drawing fouls, throwing the ball up, and trying to get to the free throw line for two shots, now she's taking hits, absorbing contact, but most importantly, finishing around the rim. And now when she gets to the free throw line, it's usually for an and one. Meanwhile, American is 2-0 on the year, thanks in large part to Emily Kinniston. Emily Kinniston, 5'8", senior guard out of Vermont, has exploded into her senior season, putting up a big 25 points and an impressive road victory against Tulsa. She could score from anywhere on the floor, on the perimeter, off the bounce, and talk about getting to the free throw line a ton, 18 times in the last two games alone, and shooting 83% when she gets there. A very intriguing matchup tonight as Delaware plays host to American. It comes your way next. UD dancing because Delaware leading four point advantage after one kind of a streaky opening period. Delaware scored the first seven. American rattled off 11 of the next 14. It's Delaware the last five. Hens looking to bounce back from a season ago, 16 and 14, 10 and 8 in conference play. First time in a long time. They lost to the CAA quarterfinals. They have made at least the semis seven straight seasons until falling to William & Mary last year. And it's a very interesting season for the Delaware squad. I mean, there are multiple games that they struggled to get out of the 40s, having trouble scoring the basketball. And this year, the first two games right off the bat, 73 and 72 points. That's a huge change and growth area for this Blue Hen squad. Hens doing a better job defensively than what we saw in the first two games here in the opening quarter. That has to be a great sign for Natasha Adair, although some sloppy play from American has certainly helped Delaware's cause as they turn it over here. Yeah, again, you know, talking about those turnovers, that has really been the Achilles heel in the first two games thus far, but Delaware only with two turnovers in this game, and if any area of improvement, that is the one for game number three. I've never seen a team turn the ball over 34 times, not only win, but really Delaware won that game going away. Nine-point victory, and it wasn't close late as Nicholas turns it over here. Moreni on the run, beautiful feed, calls Kinius with a layup. Because Kinnius has been very active here early in this game, and a lot of it's been running the wide lanes down the floor, and she's been honored for that, and they're getting the ball to her. She's scoring on both sides of the rim. Only the second turnover of the game for UD. Adabosi draws another double. Nicholas, the deep two. And Carl able to outfight to freeze for the rebound. Yeah, Carl's been doing a great job under there, not only defending Anabosi and McKenna Nicholas, but she's really been getting in the mix and getting her hands on those balls to get quick outlets. To freeze the weak side rebound. America did a good job getting back in transition. That was one of the things Megan Jebbia stressed with her team all week long. Anabosi and, and Gonzalez both were looking for Nicholas, but there wasn't enough space. They're, they have to drop lower. Cargo got the open threes. The whole defense collapsed on Anabosi, but couldn't hit. Carl has the rebound fall in her lap. Delaware 
Harry just doing a great job right now in their defensive sets, getting hands on balls, ball pressure, and really forcing American to, to do something with it. Early on, American was setting a lot of screens. They've kind of shied away from that. Carl had a wide open three, but Nicholas grabs the rebound. And that's what really gave them success early on when they made that little run in the first quarter. They are determined not to let Anabosi beat them, but a beautiful spin move, and she draws the foul. Anabosi dealing with a lot of traffic every time she touches it, but doing a good job working her way to the free throw line. And really, if you look at her footwork, look at how she feels the defender. She makes her decision in a great spin move, but that's not about ball handling. That's about footwork, and that's how she's able to really get that defender on her back and feel, and then face up and go up for two. Struggling from the foul line, which is unlike Anabosi. She's normally a very good free throw shooter and missed only four times in 16 tries all season long. But just one for four here in the first 12 minutes of this game. And so much is being asked of Nicole Anabosi this year. She really is the heart and soul of the squad and had a couple nagging injuries in the preseason. And, you know, her conditioning isn't up to par where it normally is at this time of the season. When you're playing an up-tempo game in a dare style, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Oh, there, a near turnover as Harris dropped the ball and then threw it away. Rebecca Lawrence just in good ball pressure. And another turnover for Megan Jevius team. Well, I, I think Coach Adair is very excited to be here at the Bob Carpenter Center because Delaware is just doing a great job of taking care of the basketball. And you know, Coach Jevia probably a little stunned right now with the amount of turnovers by her team. Ends up three with the basketball. Here's the walk-off. Danielle Robertson. Roberts made her blue head debut in that win over Hartford. Yeah, logging 22 big minutes when the team really needed her. Started her college career at Georgia Southern, then transferred to Tampa before coming to Delaware. Now Anna Bosi with a left hand. Just so smooth. In attack mode, but with the right hand or the left hand, it doesn't matter. And that's where she's developed from the minute she stepped on campus to now as a junior. Oh, good defense, but it draws a whistle. A Bailey Cargo had position. Look at Anna Bosi stick with it. And really a lot of that is, again, strength, grabbing that ball, swinging it through, and going to the opposite side, clearing space, and going to the left side with the kiss off the glass. So Moreni to the line for a pair. Brings American back to within four. Back to Danielle Roberts for a second, though, beloved by her teammates. And Natasha Adair said after that game against Hartford, they celebrated Delaware's first win, but they celebrated as much as anything else. Danielle Roberts earning her opportunity and making the most of it. It was really cool to see. Yeah, she absolutely did. She has earned the respect of her teammates. They say that she's one of the hardest workers on this squad, and, and she has a leadership role. Even though you're a walk-on, you can lead a team. So the hands lead cut to three. To freeze, much better off the dribble this year. Cargo, a sharpshooter, couldn't bank it in. And Kittis in the rebound. The Hens are doing a nice job with the inside out, whether it's penetrating and kicking, but you know, Delaware needs to knock down some of those shots. They've had all the looks that they've wanted. Much crisper, though, this evening. Yeah, not out of control. They've been under control this entire game. Carl with a little space over Anna Bosi couldn't hit. Lawrence to the deck, good hustle. And a tie-up will give it to the Hens. And that'll definitely get applause from Natasha Adair. She really prides herself in her team's hustling, going all out, doing everything that they can do to get that basketball. If you give effort, she applauds you. Lawrence made her first career start in that Hartford game. Dual citizenship. He's both a, a British citizen and an American citizen. And a Bosi with the layup yet again. And a nice assist there for Roberts. I think that's the third give and go we've seen between guards and forwards. Anabosi has 10. Delaware's lead is 5. Yeah, Lodane air ball. Yeah, American looking very discombobulated on offense. This isn't what we're used to seeing. They're usually more spaced out. Io Cheney, though, getting the Eagles back to within 3. If you're Megan Jebbia, you're concerned about how discombobulated you look, but I think encouraged by the fact you're only down by 3 in spite of it. Yeah, again, she talked about the nine upperclassmen on her team. Much different this year than last year. DeFreeze inside. Quick turn and score. Simone DeFreeze has just really been a spark for this squad this year. Didn't play much last year, got in a little bit, but she can do a little bit of everything, too, especially on defense. She's a great athlete, but her offense has come, a, come along this year in much more confidence. What a take from Ladane. 
looking for her to score a little bit more. That was certainly an aggressive trip to the basket. Yeah, Coach Jebby are really talking about that. They they want her to go to the basket. They need her to score. Not only do they want her to score, they need her to score. Adamosi up top. Oh, the drive blows right past Carl with the right hand. There's no answer for Nicole Anabosi. It's just amazing how she's able to swing that ball and in one dribble, one, two step up. And she's so strong. Carl walked as she tried to seal Anabosi, who's doing it all. 12 points already for Nicole Anabosi. And the hens are on top by five. Off the dribble, Anabosi putting on a show for.